We're on the steps here now uh, at, at Stormont with a view over the great city of Belfast. We have now a joint First Ministers, Michelle O'Neill is in office. We have Conor Murphy, Deirdre Hargi, we have Declan Carney. They're in the ministerial positions, but of course everybody here now is part of our team and part of a wider team right across this island that is about delivering change in a changing Ireland, delivering equality, representing every citizen without fear, without favour, making Ireland a better place and building for a united Ireland. That is our task and we are here and we are determined and we hope that you are too. I'm very honoured today I've been nominated by Michelle O'Neill and selected by Mayor Lou Macdonald to be the Minister for Finance. We realise we have an enormous task ahead of us here in this institution, firstly to ensure that there's genuine power sharing at the heart of it, that there's respect for all traditions and identities, that there's equality for all citizens, but also, particularly in my role that I've been given, to ensure that we have the necessary resources to deliver proper public services, those that people demand and need, and we have a huge job to fix our health service, our education service, and right across that, and we need the necessary finances to do that. That'll be a role that I will be centering involved in from here on in. I'm delighted to see the institutions up and running today and I've been selected by the party for the Minister for the Department of Communities and I think this is a great department which represents people right across the north and represents Sorry, their needs. A key role for me in the time ahead is ensuring that we move forward to address poverty through objective need and that will be one of the key elements of the programme for government. As we move forward I want to ensure that we have sports programme and culture and arts as we take forward and importantly our languages um, as well and I want to make sure that we address the housing crisis and also protect citizens around uh, welfare and the cuts that have happened to welfare from Westminster and to ensure that the mitigations continue. So I look forward to my new brief and importantly I look forward to engaging people on the ground and really democratising our politics as we move forward. Today has been a very important day in our struggle. Uh, it's an historic day. The political, the power sharing, all island institutions will now come back into operation and they must work on the basis of equality, rights and respect for all citizens in society. This is a new opportunity for Sinn Féin and for Republican, nationalist, progressive people across this island now to move forward on the journey towards an agreed united Ireland and I'm delighted to be part of that. Deeply honoured to have been asked to join the Sinn Féin ministerial team. It's a very humbling day for me and one uh, where I find myself reflecting on uh, family and friends and comrades who are no longer with us uh, but in deep appreciation to those comrades who have invested their confidence in me in taking up this position and it's my pledge to ensure that I will do my utmost to use this role, this opportunity to drive our struggle forward in the direction of a new agreed United Ireland.